Hello, this is Angus Warren. Today we're going to be looking at the subject of reserves and resources in oil and gas. It's a very common topic, of course, and uh, one that we all need to look at from time to time. And I'm going to do that by referring to the SPE, or Society of Petroleum Engineers, resource classification system, as shown in this diagram. Of course, there are many different types of resource classification system around the world. I would say that the SP is probably the most common, and that's the one I'm presenting to you today. So if we consider all the oil and gas, or the total petroleum uh, initially in place, then some of, some of that is discovered, of course, and some is undiscovered. So here are the different tranches according to the SPE. There is production, so that's oil and gas that has been produced and is now in a pipeline or perhaps on a ship or in a storage tank. There is then the reserves category. Now to label something as reserves under SPE, uh, there is a four point test. Um, the oil and gas must be discovered by a well. It must be technically viable. It must be commercially viable to develop the oil and gas and produce it. And it must still be remaining in the ground. You cannot take oil and gas out of the ground and call that reserves. And of course there is a range of uncertainty as to the reserves number and we often use the, uh, the wording proven, probable and possible to describe the range of uncertainty. This ties back to statistical analysis and if you're interested in finding out a bit more about that then uh, I will do a, a future uh, VT on that subject. Uh, the next category is contingent resources. Resources. Contingent resources is oil and gas that has been discovered by a well but is not yet ready to be developed. And so these resources might be contingent on developing a new technology or finding a market for the oil and gas or perhaps doing uh, further data gathering or further data evaluation. And then the last category is prospective resources. These are undiscovered accumulations that will be subject to future developments and um, are potential quantities that are therefore available. And the, uh, the convention we use for prospective resources to describe the uncertainty in volumes is low, best and high estimates. Of course, some of the oil and gas will never be recoverable, and that's shown by these uh, tranches here. And so there you have it. That is the resource classification system as laid out by the SPE, a brief description of that. If you'd like to know more about this and the importance that reserves and resources plays in our industry and how it might impact your organisation, please take a look at our website for courses in this area. Thank you.